Hi ladies and girls, it will be a whole video today about some stuff I bought uh, the last few weeks and months. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. And we are including, sorry, some drugstore and non-drugstore products. Um, as for that, uh, you have to uh, know that uh, my whole um, skin and hair has been changed the last time from oily to dramatically dry, so um, I just needed some new stuff. And I generally use some drugstore ones, but uh, I'm terribly sorry to say that um, they weren't enough. So I finally found um, a product which I adore by Dr. Hauschka. It's the rose cream. It's a daily cream. I use it only once a day. But I warn you, this one is really um, rich and heavy, which is good for me, but I don't know if it's good for you. Um, it smells a little bit like those old uh, grandma creams, but I just like it. That's so. Um, it smells like roses. It's a really good quality, 100% natural, and it's German, so it has to be good. Also by Dr. Hauschka, I bought some um, cure for my hair, uh, which are really, really, really dry. Because I have got tons and tons of um, um, different hair products which um, don't work. And I think it's my last try and then, then I'm really fed up. Fed up. It's an oil cure uh, called Niem. And how do I use it? Um, you wet your uh, complete hair before washing and put it on for 20 minutes, which is a lot. I hate to do something like that. I make everything really fast, but I have to investigate my invest my time for this. And after that, you uh, wash it regularly, and that was it. So I don't know if I can recommend that because I've only used it two times, but um, hope and hope and hope. <laughs> um, Non-drugstore products, um, for example, uh, facial lotion by Yves Rocher, which I bought. It's really nice, gentle, that was it. It isn't a 100% natural product, it is always uh, misunderstood. Uh, Yves Rocher isn't a 100% natural line. Um, they work only with uh, some uh, plants, that was it. But I, I love this stuff. stuff. This is uh, normally for a mix, mixed skin types, but it works for me. It's really nice. It looks like this. Non-drugstore product also is a makeup kit. Uh, you have to know in Germany we have got a warehouse called uh, Galeria Kaufhof and there you can see some makeup kits uh, at completely no name, uh, unknown uh, product. Um, and for that I always thought uh, that they are some stuff for children or something because of the price. This one has cost about 5 euros and if you try it you will be really surprised because, can you see it? And that. And this is a natural color. I, you know, I'm just a little bit irritated because I know these products haven't got any marketing or a PR or something like that. But if you buy um, a cheap drugstore, um, eyeshadow. It costs about 2-3 euros up to whatever and I'm just really upset because I paid 5 euros for this fabulous, fabulous palette, fabulous. And later I've seen, oh god, later I've seen that, is, that it also includes some shimmer powder, uh, powder in it. Isn't it incredible? So, um, from Bobbi Brown it would be cost probably 60 euros, it's 10 times a lot, so um, I just understand, I'm quite irritated and glad uh, that, I, uh, bought, that I bought that, but uh, you know, 
I thought a lot about this. And uh, they also have got some other palettes which are also really nice with tons of eyeshadows and rouge and uh, whatever. They are just really nice, looks like this. If you have got ever the possibility then buy one, then buy one because they are just ridiculously cheap and the quality is just incredible. So um, that was it. Then um, some drugstore products. Uh, which I bought in our DM. First of all, a product which I hate. <laughs> it's my last um, Hair Cure Mask by Schwarzkopf. I really hate this stuff. I only use it two times and after using it I've um, I had uh, drier hair than before. So what's the point? Normally it's for uh, really uh, dry hair I just hate it. It smells also really disgusting. I only can say disgusting. The whole product is disgusting. So that was my bad experience from the dust drugstore. Then the good ones. I bought a, a brush. It's by Maybelline. The Dream a brush, a blush. The Dream Touch one by Maybelline, which I adore. Um, to try it, uh, first I bought uh, this apricot color, which is really nice, gives me a um, natural finish, a glowy, little healthy glowy finish. Um, it's just really nice to apply and so on and so on, so really satisfied with it. Um, another drugstore brand, Rival de Loop, which is um, known in Europe, I think. It's a concealer, a creamy concealer called Natural Touch and it looks like this. It's the perfect color for me, um, the perfect perfect texture uh, and the perfect price. So I'm really glad to find this. And I also like, you know, I like tiny products more than the big ones because it's really nice to have it in your bag or, or whatever. So. That is really, really a nice product. Um, <clears throat> two lip liners um, by, it is called P2. It's an own brand of our drugstore market DM. I just love this stuff. Uh, here I <laughs> made some swatch which is, which is already um, destroyed. These are the two, a red one and um, um, Naked one, let me say. Look like this. Uh, I mostly like uh, this um, red one, which I use sometimes like um, lipstick. So only using this. They are extremely pigmented. Oh, <laughs> uh, really nice to apply, and they are long-lasting. So, oh, and um, they also have got a brush. So they are really, really ingenious. Um, and finally, the last product which I would like to show you. Um, I like this not because of the result, but because of the smell. It's a body butter, but um, it doesn't moisturize really for me. Um, but I like it because it uh, smells like chocolate. And I can also show you how often I use it. Use it. I just loved it. It smells really nice. It's uh, similar to the Body Shop um, body butter, but this one costs about two euros sixty or something like that. So really nice. I think that was with the products. Yeah. And um, finally, I would like to share with you a really nice uh, music album. Uh, so. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea because I personally really like some uh, baroque music and vocal music but obviously our tastes uh, are not the same so please excuse me if you don't like it. Uh, this is only for the uh, case if you like it too or if you want to know uh, what I uh, like to hear mostly or a lot. 
this is a, an album by Miss Cecilia Bartoli. She is an Italian opera singer with um, an excellent uh, singing technique. And it's her Vivaldi album, which is a really passionate album. I just love Vivaldi principally. And um, the good thing is you also can watch uh, some videos of her on YouTube for trying. I just love her. But uh, I warn you, she's really temperamentful. So um, yeah, um, try to um, try this album. Um, hear this music if you like I just uh, highly recommend it and that was for today thank you for watching and have a really really nice day bye